All right, all right. Let me get my... Two sections visible again, so we can detail this a bit more. A little bit of the separation, a little bit nicer. Oops. It's a really good song. Full of energy. Gotta play this more often, man. It gets me going. And I know someone's gonna ask what the song is. I'm gonna hook you up right now before you ask. This is more by subformat. Subformat one word. By the fine people at Monster Cat. Buy us with music for the stream. Along with our friend Ronald Jenkins. Have a good night, Felix. Mr. Scrubbles. <laughs> Save. Okay. We need to add some more cuts here somewhere. A little bit deeper here. I'll this part out. Yeah, that's gonna look good. Little gap here. Break up all the monotonous going down. All the other detail. Come up with different ways of making detail, but not have everything look the same. There's different kind of details, different kind of tricks. Adding details. Um, levels. Parts we cut out, holes, holes that are creating tension because they're close together, little straps, little strings of wrap that we can even paint on there in Photoshop, even if you don't do it on here. Or just a little different ways of uh, making your wraps, even though that whole model's made out of wraps, or you're making a character that has a lot of wraps. What the heck? Um, there's always ways to break those things up. Save our work. I feel like we're doing all that smoothing. This crashes. <laughs> what the hell are you guys on about? <laughs> Uh, 
I don't think I'm gonna break this apart right in here somewhere. One of these guys will have a cut. And I think I want to make it uh, go in an angle. Why is this song still in here? I'll be. Where is it? I'm gonna kill this song. It's too. too freaking metal. He's out. Alright, and we're gonna play a really dope song. Where is it? Anime Bay! I love this song. Mm hmm. A nice little wrinkle here. Where he lives. Up there. This is a song that doesn't give you energy. I don't know what will. Was there. Uh, what do I want to do next? I wanted to do uh, some of the little detail that we did for the rest of the set here. Let's unhide everything. Oh my god. Yeah, we had all these little scratches and whatnot. And I think we'll do a little bit here, uh, more at the bottom. Not so much at the top, but just to. Uh, Echo some of those little bits. Whoa, holy crap, wrong part, wrong part. Up here, up here. All our brush. All our brush. Break up all the smoothness just a bit. And this will just create a little bit of noise when we bake it out, because it's really small, but it will help a little bit. And save us from having to do a, a, an extra layer in Photoshop of like little dots or whatever near the bottom. Let's just do it right now. We're painting out the detail. Paint those little dots. And let's just randomize it a little bit. Let's just start throwing them in there. Different sizes. Maybe a nice big one up here somewhere. Uh, let me show you guys the in-game stuff. I'm gonna save this first. Boom! Alright, so see all those little bits do show up here? You see those little cracks? 
Uh, now, um, our job as texture artists when we jump to this part is to make those, you know, highlight those up with a, add a little bit of shadow, a little bit of a, a highlight right next to that to contrast it so that it's nice and readable from far away. But making that little detail in ZBrush actually gives us the the freedom to either get rid of it in the texture st stage or to emphasize it even more. So that's why we do all those little details because they actually will make a difference, especially for the people that zoom in and for when we make our loading screen or poster or print, whatever we decide to do, if we do uh, you know, a beauty render for the set, which we probably will. Naga Mega? Oh yeah, I know. I always call him Nix. I don't know. Most of the time, anyways. Here's the beetle that uh, me and Abyss created for his ultimate when he busts out of people and sent comes out. We're gonna have little beetles, little scarabs uh, kind of jump out and scatter everywhere. Actually, he, we already have it working. He already finished that, those effects. And they look phenomenal. Uh, let's just finish this up real quick so we can hand it off to enemy and he will start baking those out and setting up our texture in Photoshop so we can texture it uh, later this week. He Right now he's probably baking away our Nature's Prophet set that uh, Val is uh, finishing up. Finishing up uh, two pieces in uh, normal map space right now I believe, or three of them tonight and jump onto another three tonight and uh, tomorrow. So the team is uh, leapfrogging one another to get stuff done really nice and quick. Alright, I think we're good to go on this thing. We'll probably merge some of these guys a little uh, in the Photoshop stage. This might be a little too many lines, so maybe this one will actually kind of merge with our paintbrush. But I'll leave it as is for now. Like I said, we'll have the option. If it works, great. If not, we'll, uh, we'll merge them. Myself here. Find this out. A little, a little better together here. Simplify it at the same time. Almost done with this piece here. A little bit of cleanup. Yeah, maybe a couple cuts. some of the layering here some darker darks going with the uh, ambient occlusion here so I'm pushing some of these polys in it'll bake darker
probably have to clean this up a little bit on the Photoshop. There's there's too much going on. That's okay. Clean up a little bit. And do the rest in Photoshop. Turn on. Simplify this part. Oops. Smaller brush. Smaller brush. Oh god, our camera. Oh shit, what's up, bro? <laughs> Hero and Bub, what are you watching, man? What are you watching, man? You play Dota? You play Dota, you can probably maybe make make out what hero this is for. If you don't play Dota, it's a set for a character from the game. We're making a new set that if we get into the game will be sold and people will be able to use it and see it. See other people using it in the, inside the game. It's going down right now, dude. Up a little bit. Oh, fuck. Wrong way, wrong way. Alright, that's a little better. This is pretty simple, this will work. This part probably should be merged a little bit more. Get into this middle section. Work better. Welcome back, Mr. Vigil. <laughs> Thanks for answering those questions for the chat, you guys. tension on this guy. I'm gonna push it in a little bit by flattening it at the same time. And then if we need to, we'll use the move tool and uh, give it a little bit more direction. Make it a little skinnier. That will emphasize being pulled apart. Careful with it. Can't meet you for a thousand miles. 
Another question for us from Mr. Vigil. What college did I attend? I went to Sheridan College in Ontario, Canada for one whole year. I had two amazing teachers and eight completely shitty ones. And it was for uh, classical art stuff, not digital or anything. So that's that's mainly why I left. Uh, they wanted me to take a four-year course for illustration, classical illustration, or a four-year classical animation degree before I could get into the 3D animation course that I was in, creating CG work. And I said, nope. I don't want to spend four years. I mean, it would help me a little bit, you know, and practicing all the different ways of art, you know, making it to 2D and all that stuff, but um, I didn't want to spend four years waiting for something I wanted to do right then. So I left. And I made a Half-Life 1 mod. And... The rest... kinda fell into place from there on out. Alright, that feels a lot better. No problem, Vigil. <laughs> right order, that's right, man. I'm your spirit animal sometimes? What? What does that mean? We are all animals. Well, that's, I guess that's true. <laughs> no worries, Vigil. All right, I think this is where we're, anything else we do, it'll be we'll be overkilling it, and we'll probably won't show this part too much on any posters or anything that we create. So we're gonna call that done. Looks pretty decent, I think. Any other things that we have to fix up probably happen in... Actually, this part's a little too thick. Uh, let's just do it right now. Anything else, we'll just fix up in Photoshop. After our enemy's done with the dope-ass bakes. really thinning this piece out, which I wasn't planning on, it's just part of that organic design that uh, that I like. Evolve the design as we, even at this stage when we're making all the detail, even past the low poly stuff and the silhouette and the main design areas that already fleshed out. Some nice stuff happens afterwards. Enter here.
Alright, I think that'll work. I like this the, the hole that we ended up with. That was uh that wasn't planned. Then we saw it and we're like, oh let's just push that in more. Yeah, that will actually show the glove a little bit, you know, even through the little hole there. And then we also cut out this whole section there so that we have a full view of uh, the opening on the palm of the glove where the coins will be coming out from. And yeah, those are uh, happy little design mist or uh, accidents that we pushed. Hey, Budenko. Not quite yet, man. We've been working on many things at the same time, so... Yeah. <laughs> but once we, f we finish it, it's gonna be pretty tight, dude. A lot of new stuff going into it, including animations and special effects and that stuff and all sorts of things. Oh god, this version of ZBrush. Uh, this was from my work machine, so it's got a single license on it. I don't recall what was done for it on this particular machine. Uh, but usually you can find a better price going from a retailer. Hey CY, what's up buddy? What happened to the heart? That's the style man. We're having two styles on the back, you'll be able to choose either one in the game. That's right Monstroso, that's right man. And I think we're done with all the seabrush for the set. Oh my god. Is it true? God. Fucking done. Feels good. So many wraps. Ugh, I, we should not do wraps again. So we're gonna add this to the list of things that we're gonna do for future sets, at least not for a while. Which is, of course, I'm lying, right? Because we're always gonna jump back on it, just like we said. We're not gonna make any more fur. And we did a shit ton of four for the last few characters. Lone Druid, Phantom, Lancer. A uh, bunch of hair, I guess that counts. Our PA and our Legion Commander is going to have more hair. <sighs> what happens after sculpting? Uh, enemy's going to grab this file and bake it down to our low polygon mesh. Set up the Photoshop files, then we'll start texturing on top of those uh, bakes and lighting passes and all those things, the emit occlusion, the normal map. And it's already rigged because we already had the low polygon done. So yeah, what's left to do on it is the bakes, the textures, the materials, and then after everything, of all those things are done, uh, we polish up the special effects with any new textures or anything like that because we already have them blocked in as well with uh, our artist Abyss. And we then move on to making the thumbnails and the turnaround gifts for the for the website and then I, I do the loading screen or print or PD render and yeah we tell the marketing stuff and the, the screenshots and all that that stuff takes forever we need to simplify what we do for that uh, maybe we simplify the thumbnails I don't know that process is crazy intensive I mean for our hero bundles that we did that you can see right up there right now and that's for the witch doctor he had three new items and new special effects new ability effects and we had i think as a whole we had like 22 submissions for all f six hero bundles five hero bundles i forget and a full sniper set and all the thumbnails and turnarounds and dude like, it almost took as long as making some of the items it was ridiculous so we gotta come up with some way of simplifying that stuff it's insane No, we're not texturing. We're going to be moving on to the Legion. We're doing all the seabrush tonight. We would need the bakes in order to uh, finish the texturing for the Midas, which enemy is going to be working on tonight. Hey, yeah, there's the Lone Druid. Hey, check it out. See, there's the buy one that I said I would fix. Ah. And there's another one of the sets from those hero bundles. Ogre Magi. In terms of Softimage no longer being available, Autodesk or if people buy or plan converting to Maya or 3 Max? Nope. Keep using Softimage. 
No reason to change. We'll keep working for very, very long. Any tips for anybody trying to start creating Dota 2 sets but doesn't know where to start? Uh, if you don't have a lot of money, man, try using Blender. Learning Blender, it's free. And just start learning with something simple. Try making a sword or a shield, you know, something like that. A weapon of some sort. A simple weapon. And that way you learn how to make really simple things, inorganic things, like, uh, you know, something with flat edges. You learn the edge, edge loops, uh, the, the volumes of things, and more importantly, how to create those shapes in, uh, in low polygon form first. And then you move on from there to learning the UVs and texturing and high poly stuff like ZBrush, and then you learn organic stuff and then characters and you evolve. Okay. <clears throat> So this is saved, let me just throw it on to our, our folder so that our artist can access this. Give me a second guys, I gotta transfer some stuff. Makes mummy. We don't have a name for the set yet, so um, sure. While we're doing like the rendering or something like that, we'll start asking you guys for some suggestions for the name. Always helpful. Is there a free student version of Soft Image? There is. You'll need a student uh, email though to pick it up. If it's even still available from their website, if not, you'll have to do a little bit of digging and find it elsewhere. Stealer. God, there's so many projects on this freaking uh, bottles. Fine. Here we go. Where is Mr. There's Vincent. One second, guys. I gotta check um, our calendar. Our calendar here for a second. Where is? Where? Really, Firefox? You're not gonna launch? Oh, there it goes. One second, guys. Soft is, uh, the, the UI and the way that it works is way smoother than the, any other programs. That's why I like it so much. Uh, so yeah, if you can get your hands on it and find it, 
in any way or shape, uh, go for it. Sam Saddy, hey, what's up? Thank you. Are the notifications working up top? Sorry, I haven't been able to keep an eye on it. I've been super busy, but are they showing up on the top? Can you guys verify? Make sure it's working with this uh, overlay that we set up. They are? Okay, great. Awesome. Speaking of notifications. Oh no, the sound! The sound is too low! Why? <laughs> Damn. Why well, has to do with uh Actually I don't know, Warder. I'm not sure why the sound was so low for your noted for those notifications. I have to check on our T notifier stuff. And see why those things are messing up. Sound is definitely very low. Not sure why, but hey man, thank you so much for the support. Uh, let me ho hook you up with your 250 credits. Uh, let's see here. Bam, there you go, man. Add them up. Alright, let me check the sounds here. They are really low. Turn them up, maybe 50%. Or what the hell is going on? Has to do with the boosting that we had set up for the sounds or windows. So we could have the microphone go higher. All oh, these guys are really low. I'm gonna double them up. And we'll just see what happens. Very loud. Sorry, just doing a quick test here, guys. A little better. And we'll test the subscription as well. I'm gonna really turn them up. 85%. And we'll test all three just now.
a little bit better, but it's... I'll have to play where I went with that uh, off stream, you guys. That was a little better now. Go first, get out. out. Get out of there. Alright. Enough troubleshooting for tonight. Synthetic Gaming, what's up, man? Alright, Warder. Well, enjoy all your all your perks now that you have, man. Uh, and thank you so much again. Really appreciate the support. Uh, we're five closer to the giveaway. Hoorah. Hey, Jeppa. Welcome. Ultra Violence, what's up? Lolkin, Bear Hups. Demonentro. The difficult one. Bubble Cup, what up? Right, Sun Warrior. Nice, Warder. <laughs> Awesome. We also updated the little icon next to subscribers. We, we put the mask of the Mad Harvester back on and I touched it up so it looks super nice. A lot more detailed and still reads really a lot better than what we had before. Hoorah. There you go. <laughs> See you later, Mr. Vigil. Probably already gone. Sorry, man. We're testing some shit out. Gotta believe. Do I have to use Twitch alerts? Uh, I use Twitch notification. A T notifier. Or Twitch alerts, what is it? Uh, Twitch alerts is what I use, yeah. I, be, I tried all of them. I tried everything. This one seems to be working really nice. But uh, we changed some uh, audio stuff when we were doing the GDC stuff, so that messed up the notification sounds, unfortunately. Which I'll fix for the next stream. Alright. 